we're going to look through few examples that we have done before manually and we can see how we can solve it using free mat. Okay, the recent one was exercise, I think. Am I right? Do little and crowd. Was it? What was it? Which one? I think it's exercise 3 7. Have anyone done that? This one? Have Which one? Sir, tak nampak pun. Oh, yeah, forgot to share screen. Oh, share. This one. Can you see my screen? Hi, can can. Have anyone done this? Nampak, nampak. Have anyone done this before? Let's try. Did I no. ask you? Did I ask you to do this? I also forgot. Did I ask you to do this? Nak tunggu jawapan ni so tak habis. Okay. So <clears throat> let's try to do this using uh, free mat. Okay. Basically when we try to solve this. Uh, first I want to ask you guys your understanding. So if I solve this using do little method and crowd method. Will I get the same answer or not? Will I get. Same answer or different answer? Yes. What yes? So you will same get the same answer. You get the same answer. Okay. So let's try to solve this using do little method. Okay. First, open your free mat. Okay. I have. Okay. I'm. I write CLC to clear. Okay. Then what we want to use is we want to use do little method. So find do little coding in here. Okay, no do little. Okay, here is do little. Okay. So this is the function of do little. So I've teach you before. No need to change anything on the left hand side. You just change what is on the right hand side okay so do little is basically the method that we're going to use and if you see here a and b we need to define matrix a and matrix b okay so copy this one first And I write this. Okay. What do you think will happen if I press enter? What do you think will happen if I press enter? Will we get an, okay, we will get an error. Why we will get an error? It's like it's the same as just now. Okay, I press. Okay, because it already have memories. I close first. Start this new free mat. See, I'll see. When do little AP. Change this to small. I press enter. Okay, what does it states there? It states undefined function of variable A. So what does it mean but is that? Because we didn't define what is A and what is B. So the computer don't know what is A and what is B. So what is A? What is A?
Guys, if you do do little, what is Mat A? So A is matrix A and B is matrix B. 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 So for example, just now, it's the same. Okay, you need to make sure if we use capital A in here, this one also needs to be capital. Start with the sign of matrix A. And look at the example. Exercise is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 7, 8, 9, 0, 3, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6. So I define that in here. So 1, space, 2, space, 3, space, 4, space, press enter. 5, 2, 7, 8, press enter. 9, 0, 3, 2, press enter. And 3, 4, 5, 6. After this, what do I need to do? Close bracket. Okay, close bracket because this is the a bracket. matrix. And then I press enter. So is it the same with the question? Yes. Uh, yep. Okay, now what do we need to define next? When it what do B. we need to tell the computer? Good, we need to tell B. Should we use B capital or B small? B small. Small. B small. Why? In the function, it is small b. So b is equals to refer back to our matrix b in our question. So what is our matrix b? Three, zero. Three, zero, seven, eight. Okay. Seven, eight. So if I want to put, okay, matrix sign first, and then do I put something like this? Uh, no. No. Why? Because this is 1 by 4. 4 matrix. It needs to be 4 by 1. So put 3, enter 0, enter 7, enter and 8. And then we need to close. Close. So we got exactly the same. Now, I copy back the function that we want to put. Okay, I paste it in here. You can use Control C, Control V, and then you press Enter. Voila, it gives you what you put on the left-hand side. It gives you what is your L, what is your U, what is your D, and what is your X. So x is 2, 3.25, negative 5.5, and 2.75. Let's look at the, oh, it didn't, okay. So we got the same answer. If you do it manually, you can get the same answer. 2, 3.25, negative 5.5, and 2.75. So you see, I 2, 3.25, negative 5.5, and 2.75. Okay, that is if we use do little. How about crowd method? The same. First, you copy this one. Okay, I call, this is the crowd method function. I copy this one. And then I paste it here. But remember, in the original function, this B is capital or small letter? Small. So I need to change it to small. Okay. And then I press enter. So it will give me the answer. Is it the same? Is it the same? It's the same answer. The only difference between a uh, crowd and do little is that you get a different L, different matrix U, different D. Okay? See D here is different, the values, but the X would be the same. Okay. Clear so far? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, 
Okay, I remember that I have asked you to do this example manually. Do little and crowd method, right? You still remember? Or do we did it in the class? Ada, ada, ada. Okay. So. Buat uh, class. Oh, so did we get the same answer? Yes. Yes, okay. So you can try your own. Example 3 dash 5. Okay, what else do we do? Um, partial, ah, uh, this question, remember? Okay. So um, one of the students asked me whether, because if you refer to the learning module, uh, that one is topic. Okay. I cannot remember who was asking me, but if you look at this book, it says that in here you need to swap when you get 0 0.976. In my video, I didn't swap. But in this book, they swap. And they get different answer from the video. So first thing, if you remember about partial pivoting, why do we need to swap the row? Can you still remember? For Gauss elimination with partial pivoting. Why do we need to swap, for example, row 1 with row 3? Why do we use partial pivoting? Uh, to make sure that the below then the... Okay. Below, below is 0. When you get your... When you get your um, diagonal element close or near z close or equals to zero, you need to swap to ensure that our diagonal element does not contain values of zero or closer to zero. So now I ask you, when you uh, eliminate all these things, you get this one. Do you think that you need to swap or not? Now you see your diagonal element is 500, 7, and 0 0.976. That is your diagonal element. So 0 0.976, do you think that we need to swap or not? Guys, do we need to swap or not? Uh, yes. Okay, why do you say we need to swap? Why do you say we need to swap? What does the rule of partial pivoting teach us? It says when the diagonal element is equal or close to zero, you need to swap. So does 0 0.976 is equal or close to zero? Guys, is it close or equal to zero? Close. So you say it's close to zero. If I round figure that into two decimal point, what will I get? One, one. So one. Does one equals to less or near zero? I'm asking you. 
This one is near or close to zero? No. No, so you don't need to swap unless the value is 0 0.002 or which when you round figure, you get zero, okay? If you don't get zero, if you get 0 0.8, 0 0.7, you don't need to swap, okay? Because the rule teach us that you need to swap okay. when it is close or equals to zero. Okay, the problem is that when you swap this one, you get a different answer. Okay, in here, you got this. So now what we're trying to do is that we try to check whether this is the correct answer or the video that I shared to you is the correct answer. All right, <clears throat> so let's do use this example. Okay, given a system of linear equation, Okay, of this. All right, so we need to solve it using Gauss elimination with partial pivoting. Open your free mat. And then find the function of Gauss elimination with partial pivoting. So this is it, G-A-U-S-S-P-I. Okay, I open it. And it gives me the function. I copy the function. And I paste it here. So when I press enter, will we get error or not? Yes. Why? Because we didn't define matrix A and matrix B. B. See? Okay. So now I need to input this um, matrix A and B. So what is the value of our matrix A? 0 0.02, 300, then 500, negative 1, 3, 4, 7, 1. And I close it. Okay, so it's the same with our example in here. Okay, 0, 0.0, blah, 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 blah. And then we put our matrix B. B is equals to, alamak. Okay, Nine, sorry, I accidentally press. Okay, so it's nine, six, and two. Okay, copy back this. Okay. See, we still get error. Undefined function of variable Gauss pivot. So you see, this is a different error. Okay, this error say because we didn't define function A. Well, this one it says. It, it don't know what is Gauss pivot. Okay. The reason is that this needs to be small letters. The G and P. Okay. Even though in our coding, if you look here, it writes, it gives us G and P big one. Okay. But Actually, it needs to be small. Okay, so if I open back my free mat, I change it to small letters, I press enter. It gives us the value. So what values did we get? Negative 0 0.022. Wait, let's compare with the answer. Okay. Learning module. Learning module gives us the answer of This I okay. So you see, x one is negative zero point zero zero two two. Is this negative zero point zero two two? No. 
So B also, uh, X2 also different and X3 also different. Okay, this is when you swap this row, 0 0.976 and this. But if I don't swap, will I get the same answer? Yes. So which one do you think is correct? Should we swap or not? Don't swap. You don't swap. But why? Because I trust this free map. Okay. So you guys clear? How do we use this free map uh, to find the Gauss uh, with partial pivoting? Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's do two. Oh, I need to leave uh, before it's prayer time. Um, let's choose one more example. Have I show you the second method and bisection method? How to use the free mat on that? Dah sir, dekat class. Oh, I've shown you in class. Yes. Okay. Let's just do one more. Okay, I'll see. Okay, better close first before it gives me memory issues. Uh, lecture notes. Okay, chapter two, yeah. Wait, uh, we go to page 44. Okay, let's say you have example like this. So first you do it manually. And then you want to check whether my answer is correct or not. It might be really right, it might be wrong. So how do I check my answer using free mat? Okay, let's do second method first, yeah? Okay, so open your free mat. Okay. And then search for second. Second, can I find second in here? Okay, I can see second in here. So I double click and then it gives me the function that I need to put. <clears throat> okay, so I copy this. Okay, I press it in here. Do you think we will get error? Do you think we will get error or not? Guys? Um... No, no. We will get error. Why? Because we didn't define. We didn't tell them what is F, what is XO, what is X1, and what is the tolerance. Okay, so how do we do that? Okay, first we define F. What is F? I teach you in the class, remember? Remember what is F? F is the function so when you want to write a function you must use this sign is it asterisk was it asterisk here okay so what is the function refer back to your question what is our function in here what is our function <coughs> Y X two. Okay, so it's three t to the power of three plus two point two t two minus eight t minus sixteen point eight. So you write that in your free mat. T to the power of you see this sign going up t to the power of three plus two point two t to the power of two. Minus 8t minus 16.8. Okay. And then you need to put the asterisk again. I don't know. Is it called asterisk? I also don't know what, what does it call. This sign. Okay. This sign. Wait. Maybe I'll show you bigger. When you write a function, okay, you must make sure you put this sign. Okay. Okay. All right. So I put that function already and then 
XO. What does it mean by XO? And what does it mean by X1? So this is the initial trial vector. Okay. Initial values. So look back at our question. What is our initial value that we want to choose? Uh, zero. Zero and? Remember, second method, you got two initial values that you need to put in. Zero and two. Zero and two, okay. Somebody say zero and two. You get it wrong. Why? Look at the question. It says, find the time T positive that the displacement of the object at zero. Okay, so meaning that you need to look at when y, remember about the theory of roots, is y equals to zero. So this is the line of y equals to zero. So where is the positive root? Is it this one or this one? Right hand side or left hand side? Left hand side or right hand side? Okay, right hand side, meaning this is the uh, roots that we try to find because it says positive. Okay, if it says negative, it will be on the left hand side. Remember that we try to find x, or in this equation, it's actually t. Okay, so if let's say this is the root, do you know what is the value in here at my cousin now? What is the value of? x for this area here Do you know guys quick you know the values here or not uh, no you don't know but you know this value is in between what value? Two and three. Okay, two and three here. This is three, this is two. So you can use your XO as two and X3 as three. Sorry, X1 as three, okay. So X0 is our small uh, initial value and the largest initial value is 3. Okay? Okay, clear so far? Okay. You guys clear so far? Okay. Now, look back at the question. It asks us for tolerance. So does it give us any tolerance or convergence criteria? No. No. No, okay. So if no, let's just assume. No, no, no. Let's just assume 0 0.0001. Okay. And then I press enter. When I press enter, what the value we give us this is the number of iteration and new. What is new? New is the new value of t. Okay, I press enter. Okay. Now it says that T not. Okay, some error in here. I forgot to tell um, this pre-med that what is T. So to be on a safer side, I will change this T to become X. Instead of using T, we use X because in the function of second method, in here, if you read here, okay, it right here, DX. 
K. Does it write DT here? No. So that's why you need to use the same um, letters that is in the coding. Okay. So I change T to X. I press enter. Ah, I need to do it again. Okay, CLC. Remap. Open second method. Okay, I'll use this one. Okay, what was our equations again? X. X to the power, sorry. X to the power of 3 plus 2.2 x to the power of 2 minus 8x minus 16.8. Okay, remember I don't use t because um, in our coding it used x, it doesn't use t. Okay, and then our value is 2 and this one is 3. So what is this 2 and 3? This is our initial values and the tolerance. So, okay. why it keeps give us T not? Second. Yeah, I'm also not sure why I'm getting this error. X blah 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 blah. Okay, any idea? Too small. Okay, too small tolerance. But if if I change these two. It's not okay, correct. F. Okay, any thoughts on this, guys? We cannot solve this. Okay, we can get that. Um, let me check back the question. I know that one is when I find the time, but did that the place one of that is three different methods. Okay, let me try last time. Sorry. X to the power of 3 minus, sorry, plus 2.2 X to the power of 2 minus 8 X Minus sixteen point eight. Okay, and then I use two and three. Ah, uh, finally. All right. You know what was the issue previously? You know what was the issue? Tak tahu. Okay. 
Uh, if you look at our equation, it is t to the power of 3 plus 2.2 t to the power of 2. Between 2.2 and t, you need to put a command that is showing that it is actually 2.2 multiply with t. You get what I mean? Oh, uh, thumb. Okay, so yeah. previously what I write is, I didn't put this. I just write 2.2x to the power of 2. And here I just write 8x. So the computer didn't know that it is actually 8 multiplied with x. See? You get what I'm saying? So that's why when we write the equation, okay, we must make sure that if it's 2.2x to the power of 2, we need to put this. This is x tricks, right? I think this is x tricks sign. So uh, this one, when in free math, you cannot put x you cannot say this is multiply wrong so the operate operator for multiply is this thing can you see this this is the operator of multiplication so look at the coding that i've just uh command that i've just put 2.2 multiply with x to the power of 2 minus 8 multiply with x minus 16.8 so i get the answer so by using second method okay this is second method we get this okay look back at the question it asks us to do bisection and neutralization also let's try to solve it using Newton Repson method. So first, when you want to solve it using Newton Repson method, you want to copy this function. Okay, look for Newton Repson method. Okay, okay, Newton R. So this is Newton Repson. Copy this function. and put it in here. So in here, can you see it right? F, U, N, C. What does it mean by F, U, N, C? What do you think F, U, N, C means? The differentiation. No, no, just now. It's, it's differentiation of the function. Okay, differentiation of the function is D function. Just now it was Ish. Function. Yeah, function. That's what I want to try to tell you guys. Okay. So in here, if I copy, it say fung, defung, x, and tolerance. So fung means function. Defung is the differentiation of this function. X is the initial value, and tol is the tolerance. Okay, so let's put the function. What was the function? What was the function of our equation? This one, what is the function? T power of three. Okay, can we use T in free map? Uh, no, X. Okay, you need to change it to X, okay? x to the power of, power of 3 and so on, okay. So remember, when you want to write a function, use this, hi, oh, I think that is called hyphen. Lah. Okay, hyphen, x to the power of 3 plus 2.2, what do I need to put next? Point. Point. Eh, bukan yang macam arrow atas tu kot. No, arrow, at, arrow atas is power. So it is 2.2 2 
multiply with t. So what is the symbol for multiplication? Uh. Huh? Star. Star. Ah, the asterisk. I think this uh, is asterisk. Asterisk what? Asterisk x to the power of 2 minus 8 multiply with x minus 16.8. Don't forget to put the hyphen again. Okay? So this is the function. So d function. Now, what is the differentiation of this? Quick, quick, guys, I need to go for prayer. So 3, if you differentiate this, what will you get? Guys, if you differentiate this, what will you get? Three x square. Three x square. Okay, and then three. Re remember, three multiply with x to the power of two, and then plus look at here. Plus none of you guys don't even know how to differentiate. Guys, this is a very basic differentiation. Uh, four point plus four point four P. 4.40. So in free math, it will become 4.4 multiply with x. What else? Minus. I differentiate this quick. Minus. 8. 8. Is there anything else after that? Minus 8. Okay, that's all right. Okay, now, it asks us what is our x value. So look back at the question. So what do we want to choose? 2 or 3? Okay, if you don't know, let's just try to put two first. Let's just use the lower limit. And the tolerance was 0 0.0001. Okay, close. So, from second method, if we use 2 as the initial value, we get 6 iteration. And this is Newton Rebson. Okay, is it the same answer between second and Newton Rebson? Is it the same? Guys, do we get the same answer? Are you guys with me or not? Hello? Guys, can you hear me? Uh, yeah. Okay, did we get the same answer between second method and Newton-Rebson method? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you get the same answer. But... How about the iteration number? Same, sir. How about iteration number? Uh, same, same. Iteration number is same. Uh, 
Uh, yes, sir. Okay, that means you don't understand what does end means, what does results mean. This result is actually the roots. And this N is referred to the iteration number. So num iter means iteration number. Um, so if you use second method, you get six iteration. But if you use Newton Epson, you get five iteration. So which one is have less iteration number? You know what does iteration number means? Remember when you prepare your table, you got I, zero, sorry, I, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. Uh, Newton Repson. So Newton Repson, you get less iteration. Okay, that is when we use two as the initial trial vector. But what is if I use three? Okay, so if I use three, I change this yes, sir. to three. I press enter. I get only three iteration, but the answer is the same. So what I want to show you that is that For Newton Repson, okay, if I use initial trial vector of two, remember it asks us to give initial trial vector, I need to do five iteration in order to get 2.8. But if I choose three as our initial trial vector, I get on, I need to only do three iterations to get the same answer. Okay, so meaning that if I use the value here as our initial trial vector, I do less work. But if I use two here as the initial trial vector, I need to do a lot of iteration. Do you know why? If you understand the concept, seriously, you can answer me. Do you know why I use, if I use three, I get less iteration than rather than using two? Do you know why? Guys? No idea? Okay, look at the roots value. What is the roots value that, that we get? What is the root value that we get? Um, no idea. What is the roots? The roots value that we get by using uh, this free mat? Uh, 2.8. 2.8. So 2.8. Ah, now, can you guess? So two, this is this value is two point eight. Okay, so this is three. This is two. Which one is nearer to three to two point eight? Three or two? Three. Three. That's why in here less distance. That's why you have less iterations. You get you get the point. You get what I'm trying to say? Or you still confused? Yes. So when we choose three as our initial trial vector, okay, you get less iteration. Why? Because the roots is close to the initial vector that we have chosen, which is three. If you choose two as the initial trial vector, it's a long way for you to go to our roots itself. Okay, is that clear? Is that clear? 
Christ is that clear. Who are still confused? Um, uh, me, okay. sir. Okay, you, you are still confused. Uh, because just now my internet lost. Okay. The roots that we have calculated from um, free mat is 2.8. So 2.8 is here. Okay, at my cursor here. Can you see? Uh, yeah. This is 2.8. Now, before we want to use the free mat, the free mat asks us what initial trial vector we want to choose. Okay, so first one, by using newton Repson. What is the value of x that I put here? Uh, 2. 2. When I use 2, I need to do 5 iteration in order to get the roots value, which is 2.8. Are you clear on that? Uh, yeah. Okay. When I choose 3, okay, I choose 3 here. I only need to do three iterations in order to do 2.8. So straight away, you know, when you use three, you do less work than when you use two. Is that clear so far? Oh, yeah, clear, clear. Okay, so do you know why we do less work when we choose three rather than two? Uh, because three is more uh, near. Yes, to so. 3 is here. This is our root. So this is nearer rather than we choose 2. 2 is a long way to go. Okay. You guys clear? Clear, yeah, doctor. Okay. So I think uh, I missed the prayer already. Um, so try to do bisection uh, yourself. Okay. Uh, if you have any further question, you can ask me during the class. Okay, if you got time, try to play around with the free mat. Okay, any question before we end the session? I didn't um, expect. Yeah. Um. May I have the the Excel one for the? I mean the 